So the thing is, Microsoft has been one of our key partners ever since day one. Yeah, uh, they were one of our initial sponsors, and they have, uh, I mean, they have done amazing things for us, and we have been a very, very key partner in uh, the story that is Mass Challenged. Uh, uh, right now, and they have definitely been a big part of our success. So we were thinking about going to uh, South by Southwest, and uh, Bing and Microsoft in particular have been very helpful in uh, getting the local Microsoft office involved, but also the Bing team from Seattle involved. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we started conversations with that, and we are always thinking about creative ways of how uh, uh, a big corporation like Microsoft can work with startups, because startups have their own strength, Microsoft and Bing have their own strengths and how can you work together. And so basically the startup showcase came about with uh, us throwing about a, a different ideas and they were going to do something uh, interesting as well. Uh, so they said, why don't you read, uh, uh, I mean, why don't you use our space for that afternoon mm -hmm. and showcase some of the teams uh, that you have as well as the great uh, work that Mass Challenge is doing. And I think it worked out both ways as firstly, uh, uh, people realize that Bing or Microsoft is not just about big corporations, right? They right. really care about uh, small startups, and there are great effective ways that they can add value to the uh, to uh, to the their different startups. And from our perspective and our team's perspe uh, perspective, it's always good to partner with a big name like Bing, mm -hmm. uh, especially in a place like South by Southwest, where everybody's trying to wine why for the same attention of the audiences, and everybody's throwing parties and add different things. So having uh, our brand name, uh, which is uh, a household name in the tech, in the tech community, uh, and being able to leverage that to showcase some of the Mass Challenge uh, teams uh, that were with us as well. But I think uh, talking about a bigger, broader sense of uh, social media in general, and not just about the tools themselves, whether it's Facebook, LinkedIn, and things like that, I think it's, uh, it's a way to engage your audience and customers and having a direct conversation with them, which was not possible before. Wow. All right, and I think uh, they are also getting to be uh, uh, customer uh, uh, customer service tools. Like whenever somebody has a problem with a the company, they just uh, shout it out on Twitter, right? And it's uh, it'll be interesting to see how the space evolves in uh, uh, in four to five years. But uh, what I would say is, uh, if you are looking at uh, if uh, the whole array of social media tools uh, tools available to any company, I think first of all, it's a necessity to be out there for any company, but also uh, also the second thing is really think about what you want to get out of this tool, what kind of audience you want to engage, and what kind of messaging that you want to, uh, uh, you want to create through each one of these tools. One of our key partners, Hollandmark, uh, kind of uh, sim uh, simplifies it is, the question is, what is your one simple thing, mm. right? So what does your brand stand for? What does Mass Challenge stand for? What does uh, any, any one company stand for? right because you have to occupy that position in the consumer's mind and if you don't do it the market will do it for you because they will start associating it with XYZ so it's better for you to take control of your own messaging and brand and forget about the 15 different features 15 different benefits in the market what do you want to be known for right so for example at mass challenge we want to be known for the place where entrepreneurs come to build great companies right uh, uh, and we can talk about, uh, I mean, we can also talk about all the events that we throw, mentorship, etc., 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 but that just muddies the water in terms of messaging, right? right. So think about when you're uh, in your communication strategy is what is your one simple thing and how do you dominate that in the mind uh, of the consumers in terms of mind share? Interesting. Well, very sound advice. Um, well, congratulations on your success. Well, thank you very much. Looking forward to seeing more uh, from Mass Challenge in the future.